What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and wee little nerdlings all? It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun picks and presents Legendary Gaming! Woo! So, uh, newest title from Colossal Games, who brought us one of my favorite games of all time, Western Legends, has this, which uh, we proudly backed on Kickstarter. This is a one or two player game as it is designed to be. Totemic! Let me give you a quick little read here so you know what it is that uh, you're going to be watching and I'm going to be doing. This is my first playthrough of this. So, uh, this could end up being a drinking game with the amount of mistakes I make. No, really, the, the, the rules don't look that tough. Hey, Shogunstein! Yeah, the box is not that big. Not that big at all. It was, uh, not, it's just really all, it's all cards. And then you get to build this. You got to take it apart every time you put it back in the box. So I don't know how long it's going to last. But they uh, do also give... Yeah, hold on. Cards that you can also use to track the points. Because that's all that's really used for is tracking a certain point uh, system for combat as uh, challenges happen. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Just uh, cards. Uh, dominance token. And this is how we keep track of health. I'm using Wolf. And in the solo game, it suggests that you uh, use uh, three, they say, is the sweet spot. So this is the totem, and I'm on the bottom of the totem, and I want to get up to the top. I, uh, I have the most strength, 38, so that means I'm starting the game with dominance. Uh, I know in the two-player game, that means that the, uh, the player without dominance goes first. Um, Got to check to see if that's how it works for the solo Yeah, um, Colossal Games. I didn't know they, they did something this small either. This is by Chris Ham. Uh, really, really beautiful game. In Totemic, animal spirits vie for their place in the natural world, using cunning, strength, and aspects specific to their kind. Each animal will approach this contest differently. Only the animal that best uses these aspects will win in the end. The bottom of the totem pole. That's right, brother. Okay, so, uh, you know, I, I usually like to try to shuffle cards uh, on screen, so that means there's going to be a little bit of setup that has to happen right now. So this is, the, this is the deck of aspect abilities, and some of them are general, and that has that little symbol right there. While others, like this one was put in, uh, each, each animal has two very specific cards. This is one of them of Wolf, and the specific ones don't have that little marking there. So all these cards are... Or put in together into the deck of, I think it's 16. So right now, there's 20 cards in this deck. If I survive my encounter with Badger, then uh, the Turtle cards go in. I have to double check if Badger comes out, the Badger cards. I mean, it sounds like it should, but I'm going to double check. Okay, so what was that about here? Oh, and this also backed enough that it had a uh, expansion. Although I none of the carrot, none of the animals from the expansion are being used right now. I'll have to do another one specifically for that. So that's cool, extra stuff. Okay, so now with the setup, now I got the uh, uh, what is it called? The offering cards. This is the offering deck. So I got that all set up now. And so the next thing we have to do is uh, do yourself a hand of three cards face up. So this is my hand, and they're going to be dealt face up. So I have the ability of courage to start with. That's eight point strength. For one point strength, there's vigor. And you notice they have abilities in the bottom. So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And my third one... Owl from Owl from this actually starts with four. It has it has four, and I also have determination. So now the next thing we have to do is draw the opponent's hand. So for Badger, Badger has speed. Badger has one of the Badger cards, Rage. Exchange dominance, your opponent loses three power. And uh, Badger is also starting with perception. Look at your opponent's hand. 
Choose one card from them to discard. Uh, in this case, I believe it would be the highest uh, strength card is what they would go for. I, yes, I did give the rules a quick read through this time, but I'm going to be going through them here uh, also, especially the first couple of turns of the game. So you know, as well as I know, exactly what's going on. So pardon me, Shogun Steen, I'm going to sit down. The screen isn't completely easily available, but I'll try to keep looking up from time to time. So now I have to put out the offering uh, section here uh, to make the offering uh, cards. So we have another badger ability, Fury. Exchange dominance, discard one card, then draw one card. And you'll see all these play out in a moment and we start the game. No worry, Shogunstein. See, I told you I look up every now and then. I see you. Ex uh, might exchange dominance, gain one power if you have dominance. Dominance is very important during the challenges. Determination. Let me just uh, see that. Oh, yeah. There's there are two of each. Of the general ones? Yeah, there's two of each of the general ones. Okay, so this is this is where the offering cards are going to be. The rival is on top. And I am on the bottom. As it is. You're ready to begin the confrontation, it says now. And I, I have things set up just a little bit differently. Uh, I'm keeping the opponent's health down here, uh, and therefore I'm I'm keeping the uh, the the challenge cards that you have to use for one player. I'm keeping them here, so it's a little bit different of a setup, but not much. So the game plays the solo game plays uh, for the player. It plays exactly the same as the regular game. This is the when you get to the rival stage. Uh, instead of the second player, uh, there's a few things that are going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go over this with you as we are going along. Uh, so yes, this is my this is my power, 38, and this is my advantage. And uh, Wolf, Wolf has the advantage that you gain one strength in challenges when you have dominance. So if I get into a if I get into a challenge right now, I'm going to be considered a plus one power. So now there's, uh, basically you take one action, and then that's the end of your turn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all you're doing. But on, for, you have three choices. You have three choices that uh, that you're able to do. So you can you can draw. So uh, I could draw a card uh, from the deck, and but you can't have unless you're owl and you have four. Otherwise, you can't have more than three. So I would have to discard one if I wanted to do that. And if this is empty and you want to or have to draw from this, then you reshuffle it, but both players uh, are going to take one damage. They're going to lose one power. They don't call it damage. They're going to lose one power. Now, this is the beginning of the game. I don't want to draw and change my cards because I really don't know the game yet, right? I don't know what's uh, exactly going on, what my strategies need to be. Courage, vigor, gain four power, uh, initiate a challenge... Draw a card and gain dominance. Uh, I, I think I'm good with that. So now the other of the three possibilities is to what they call invoke. So each player selects a card in the offering and slides it halfway out of or the player, not each player. So okay, so so let's say I wanted might. What I, I don't I don't just jump and take might. What happens is I slide it down. Or if this was badger, badger would slide it up towards badger. Right? So I would slide this down here halfway out towards me and then i resolve the card so this is exchange dominance and gain one power if you have dominance so i would hand this over to this fool here but then my 38 would go to 39 if i wanted to uh, do that and then the third option that you have is is as you heard me mention earlier uh in the setup when i was talking about wolf is the challenge and this is where it's almost like a combination of a well, it's kind of like a poker game in the sense that it's a combination of, of, of knowing you can do something better than your opponent and also kind of bluffing a little bit. So in that sense, not that this is a poker game, but in that sense, I did feel while I was reading through the rules a little sense of that. And we'll see if it comes out, or if I feel it comes out that way during gameplay. So the challenge, uh, one of three things happens now during the challenge. Uh, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start with a challenge because I'm I got dominance... Uh, the player with the dominance token has dominance. The player with the dominance wins all ties. 
Now it doesn't say here. So I, I believe, and I first play through, I could be wrong here, but I believe in the one player aspect, the player is always going first. Players will alternate until the power of one or both of players has been reduced to zero. The, the most remaining power is the winner in the event of a tie. Player with dominance wins the game. So it's impossible to actually tie. Somebody will have the dominance token. Uh, so, yeah. I am going to... Uh, until the rival goes. Set up a, this in action. Okay. So, uh, if I have dominance, they are going first. I don't see anything that says otherwise. So, that's the way I'm going to play it. That's the way I'm going to play it. Now, in the solo game, like I said, it's a little bit different what the rival does. If uh, he has, the rival has a specific setup as to what it will do. Each turn, the action the rival animal chooses to take is determined by the strength of its face-up cards. So in this case, we're showing three, uh, two is five, and one is six. If the total strength of any two of its face-up cards is greater than ten, the rival must challenge. If uh, no combination of any two of its cards face up have a total strength of 10 or more, the rival must invoke. So three, four, five. Can't, you can't add more than five with any two of its cards. So that's under 10. So it will not challenge me. Badger will not challenge. Badger will invoke. So now when Badger invokes, if the rival animal takes an invoked action, it always selects the highest strength value card in the offering, discards its lowest strength card, and adds a selected card to its hand. In the event of a tie for the highest uh, strength value, the player chooses which card. The rival animal only resolves the gain dominance or exchange dominance part of the selected card's ability, ignoring all other text. Okay, so in the offering, the uh, most powerful one is Fury and Might. Both have a six. They both say exchange dominance. Uh, so that's the only thing that will apply. And we will say that it's going to take Fury. And that will replace that will replace its, uh, its two-point speed. And then uh, I don't see it at end of turn. doesn't say anything about resetting. So imagine that resets now, which gives us Vigor, which we saw earlier here. So now I, oh, so it got the dominance. So now uh, I don't get that plus one bonus now. If I so challenge is what I was planning on doing. I am, you know what? I'm going to push up the ante now. This is what I was, this is also a little bit, I, I, I'm not a poker player, but I kind of feel poker-ish uh, behind it. And that's upping the ante, so to speak. So right now, the totem power is on five. But if I invoke, then that's what it does. Is it, it, the invoking is pushing things up. Well, that's threaten. I'm sorry, threaten, 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 which is one of the challenge acts aspects. Okay. I think I'm looking good. So I'm going to go with the challenge. And I will threaten. After a player is challenged or threatened, they may choose to threaten the opponent player and increase the power at stake by raising the totem to his next level. So I'm going to challenge, which is going to take this and uh, raise this to 10. Hmm. Now, when you uh, lose uh, a challenge, uh, and I'll, I'll be checking along as we go along, but I believe that's exactly how much power. So if we challenge right now, uh, if he accepted the challenge then uh, and I lost, this would go from 38 to 28. I'll double check that as we're going along. That's what I think I remember.
Now, if now get into the solo side of it, since Badger has been challenged. And the players fix. Uh... Okay, the following uh, follow these steps in each challenge against the rival. Uh, it must accept all challenges. If the player threatens, it accepts. So it accepts. <laughs> uh... This is otherwise considered accepted and is resolved normally. Otherwise, the decision to accept, threaten, or submit moves back to the opposing player. So, so now it moves back to uh, Badger, and according to the solo setup, it must accept all challenges. So now we have to reveal the top challenge card. Oh, that's the discard pile. Sorry, that's the discard pile. That's the challenge cards. Uh, I did shuffle. I'll shuffle again a little bit here just because, you know, I like to be up and up. Okay. So we're going to draw the top one. Two. I think it goes up to five. Two. Compare the total strength of the player's cards uh, against the rival animal's cards, including the challenge card. The animal with the highest total challenge wins. So we're looking at 6, 3, 9, 10, 12. Uh, 9, 14. So I have 14. If I had dominance, that would have been 15. Reduce the power of the loser by the level of the totem. So I was right about that. So Badger's going to go from 22 to 10. Oh, wait. I think I did something wrong there. Okay, well, anyway, maybe not. This is the first playthrough, right? Let's continue. Uh, so now, discard the aspect cards used to the orphan discard pile. Okay, let's, uh, compare the strengths. We did that. Reduce the power level. We did that. Discard the aspect cards used to the offering discard pile and the challenge cards used to the challenge accept. To the challenge discard pile. Um... Used to the... Uh, okay. Aspect, discard the aspect cards used. So did I not have to use all of them? So this is going to go aspect discard pile. This is going to go the aspect discard pile. So we're all used. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. I do. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Let's look. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I did do something wrong there. I did do something wrong. Okay. The player selects the two cards they wish to use in the challenge. So I would be using the five, using the five and the eight. The rival selects the highest two, so that would be the three and the six okay nine ten eleven uh eight and five is 13. okay so i did win anyway so these cards are discarded Okay, at least I'll put this there. These cards get discarded. These cards get discarded. And then 
starting with whoever initiated the challenge, that's me, draw a discard card uh, for both the players and rival animal until each have three face up. So starting with me then, uh, loyalty, one of the wolf cards, and might, which we've already seen in the basic offering. And then for up top here for Badger, we got Cunning. And we have Perception. Okay, I think I, I think I caught that. I think I fixed that. And so now, uh, new turn, and I go first. And uh, let's see. I uh, draw and invoke a challenge. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I need to draw. But... You know what I will do is I am going to invoke. That's what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke vigor and gain. Oh, wow. No, I better not do that because it's like 39 is as high as it goes. So I don't need to gain four power. Then I'm going to I'm going to challenge. I'm going to challenge. And, oh, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. But what if I... I will invoke. Okay, I'm going to invoke Might. So we get to exchange dominance. I now have dominance. Gain one power, and so it looks like I'm maxed out 39 power. And I will replace I'm gonna replace Vicar. This guy probably all right. I'm going to replace Vicar. Kinship. Ah, oh, that's my other wolf card. Kinship. And that's my one thing. Okay, so I invoked. So let's see. Seven. Seven is the highest we got here. Four and three, seven. So the rival animal, Badger, will not challenge. Uh, but that means that they will invoke the highest number card, which is Determination. I'm going to take that, and they're going to gain dominance. And they get rid of their rage. And replaced. All right. Now me, it's going fast. I had to stop and think to myself. Was, was that a reaction, or was that what the, the turn was? That was the turn. So, uh, that's a good dominance. And I will, I will, I will challenge. Now, this is what I think I made a mistake last time about as well. So, let me just see. Because I do want to challenge. I am going to challenge. It will happen. But I need to see... When, during the challenge, here we go, solo game, I will threaten. It must accept. Oh, this is supposed to go back down to five. The end of each turn, the end of each turn, that goes back down to five. So I'm going to, he accepts the challenge. He accepts that. 
Now, I want to do something big. Uh, this, this can go back and forth, just like anteing up in poker. Right? Threaten. After a player is challenged or threatened, they may choose to threaten the opposing player and increase the power at stake by raising the total to its next level. If this raises the total level to 30, the challenge is considered to have been accepted and is resolved normally. Otherwise, the decision to accept, threaten, or submit moves back to the opposing player. And he always accepts. He always accepts. So he has... Uh, 12 hit points left. So I'm going to do it again. Well, this is coming loose. There we go. I'm going to do that again. Knocking it up to 15. And then we do the attack. And then accept so both players. So I just went through before. Choose two cards. I'm going to choose Might and Might. And we draw a card here. Ooh, we got a four. And the two highest. Ew, I might not have won this. No, I did not. Uh, nine, 13, 12. If I had dominance, that would have tied. Damn it. I just screwed myself. Uh, so I just lost 15. 15, that's 19 I got left. That's 19 I got left. Is that 14. No, 15, 15 is 30. It's late, folks. So I had 39. So I had 40, and I lost 15. So that would be uh, 25, 25, 24. 24. That was a, well, you know, I knocked it up. This could have been a zero or a one. But it was not. Okay, so these are gone. These are gone. I'm taking damage. This goes back down to five. And it goes back on its thing. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't. <laughs> there we go. It's an okay design. It's not great. <laughs> so we have to redraw... Ferocity and ferocity, cunning and courage. The courage, the cowardly dog. Okay, uh, that was that was. Uh... Uh, has that been something else I did wrong? Was that something else I did wrong? Because uh, it's supposed to be the player without the dominant. Well, that's what starts the game, right? And this is going back and forth. Okay, so that was me initiating the challenge, which I totally screwed the pooch on. Oh, look at that. Eight. Any two cards above ten. Going right in for the challenge. Oh, man. I can do this. Oh, this this is the this is the card that's going to screw me. What was this out here for? Whoops. Got four and a two. Mm, only be five points. I don't have dominance. I I accept the challenge. I will accept the challenge. I will draw my two. I will use my two ferocity cards. 14, 12, and nothing. 12. <laughs> so I did win that. And that means taking five points of damage. And 
leaves with seven. Now to shuffle to get a new offering deck. Okay. And I drew Cunning and Courage. Perception and Fury. This is me. And let's see. Six, we got nine. That last card's like a five or something. We got 14. I can't beat that. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You know what? I will invoke this. Exchange dominance. Uh, get rid of... Loyalty for kinship. Six, seven, eight, nine is the highest it has. Uh, so it will invoke. It will invoke. So the solo game. Double checking. Uh, that's the highest one, yeah. So the highest is four. Copy the ability. Oh, no, that doesn't happen. Uh, only exchange or uh, only the dominance one. So this will replace perception. Oh, good. I still have dominance. Look at that. But 12, 10. There's no way I'm going to want to fight. There's no way I'm going to want to fight. So, what I'm going to do is another invoke. I'm going to invoke speed. Opponent loses three. Your opponent loses three power. Down to four. Still look, oh, 10, we got 10, so we'll challenge. This is going to be bad for me. This is going to be bad. So the two highest is uh, 4 and 6. That's 10. Uh, 10 plus 6, 16. There's no way I can win this. Uh, so I'm going to use these two, speed and kinship. Determination and courage again. And over here we have might and speed. And that was, uh, it's me now. It's me now. And I have dominance. Nice. I'm going to challenge. I'm going right in for the challenge. Uh, I'm going to use these two cards here. My two double courage against uh, six and three is nine. Eight and eight is 16. Nine and nothing. Nothing. So that's going to be another five points of damage, which takes away Badger. Badger's now on the bottom. If there is another animal spirit above you in the hierarchy, it becomes a new rival. Remove the defeated animal's two specific cards. So, Fury. And Rage. Fury and Rage 
are coming out. Back in the box. And the two specific. And caution. We add it in here. Oh, the whole thing gets redone. Do yourself a hand, three face of cards. Whole thing, whole thing gets redone now. Everything. So new offerings, new cards for us. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, what happened there? Someone's backwards. As you can see, my mad magician skills. Penny Teller have banned me from Vegas. <laughs> okay, so I have cunning. I have determination. And caution. The ones I've drawn. Turtle. That's loyalty. Speed. And Vigor. Okay, now the offerings. Ferocity. Vigor. And Perception. And uh, Wolf has a higher. So Wolf has the dominance. That means Turtle starts things off. Uh, Turtle can't make more than a three. Two and one, two and one, two. So that means I'm going to invoke the highest one, which is uh, ferocity. It does not say gain or exchange dominance. So I'll get rid of loyalty, and we'll take that. Ah, oh, uh, so i got to reset this. Sorry. Sorry. Dirty. Oh, by the way, Turtle says, after you win a challenge, your opponent loses one additional power. After you lose a challenge, you lose one less power. I guess that's the shell. I gotta remember that. Play fair. But I have the dominance token, finally, in the fight, so I will be gaining one strength in the challenge. And uh, I am going to challenge... Rivals always have to accept the challenge. And, uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Nine and nine. Oh, and this gets reset too. Everything gets reset. Oh, challenging is not good for me right now. Challenging is not a good idea. But... If I cunning copy the ability of one card in your hand or the offer. No, don't need that. But what I will do is uh no, damn it. See, it's a power trade-off. I'd really like to gain four power. But I'm gonna be exchanging a four, five, or a four for one strength, and I don't I don't I don't like that. So maybe wow, maybe I will draw. I'll draw a card. First time I've done that. That was kind of worth it. That's a four to two. I got both the turtle specials. I'll get rid of cunning for that. Because I now have an eleven. Uh but it is no longer my turn. Now we go back to the rival. We go back to Turtle. Turtle can't beat a nine. I uh, can't beat a ten. Nine is the most Turtle can make. So the Turtle is going to invoke. Highest one is four. Cunning. And it does not say anything about the dominance. Wow, oh, Turtle does have good defenses. So to speak with these cards. 
Now, challenge of an 11 plus whatever is in here, zero to six. Uh, nothing in here I like. No, I'm gonna. Oh man, I'm gonna draw. And uh, down the hand size of three, so I'm putting that one back. Now turtle can attack. Seven, four, eleven. Uh, using these two plus a four. Oh man, what's that? Fifteen. Four and four is eight. Eight and eight is 16 minus one because this is a seven. That's 15. Since there's no way I can win and it's only at five, I'm going to choose my two lowest. Right? So 24, that's a 19 I now have. Okay. Let's see what we get. Might and ferocity. A turtle is drawing on courage and uh, more courage. Damn it! Whew. Eight and eight is sixteen. So the turtle has the uh, it has to uh, make the attack. That's a challenge me. Now, I can turn it down, but if I do so, I believe that means I'm going to take five damage. Let me double check that. Well, if I'm going to take five damage either way, maybe I can get rid of some of these cards instead of having to use a drawer action. So I'm going to I'll accept the challenge. Always uses its highest. 8 and 8 is 16 plus 0. Six and six is 12. I get a determination five and might six. Ah, oh, we're going to take a point of damage. Uh, perception is so 30 down to 29. And, uh, 19, then 18. Did I take that five? Did I take that five? Yeah, I think I did. Ooh, I might be losing the turn anyway. Uh, so reshuffle. And uh, get his last card. Speed. Oh, looking good for me now. And that's me, because he had to attack last turn. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push for a challenge. I'm going to use my six and seven. This is three and two. It's five. And two is seven. Mm, so seven his seven. <laughs> I got that I got that tied with one card. So I beat him by six. He loses five. He's at twenty-nine, so that's now twenty-four. And uh, Yeah, no, I got that right, I think. So now we draw for more. I have Cunning, four Strength, and Ferocity, seven. Well, over here we have Fortitude, six, and Might, six. Damn it. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, I still got Dominance. That's one extra Strength and Challenges. 
but uh, the zero's already come up. Nothing good there. I will draw. It's, it wasn't bad. Now over here for the rival, Turtle. 12, we're going to be an attack. Attacking with these two cards. And that's 12 plus 6, 18. Damn it! 18. Looks like he make his 15 plus 1 is 16. So if that's the case, I'm going to choose to use these two cards. And I'll take the 5 damage. That's what, 13 now. That's 13 now. And now I have courage. That's two courages. I'm twice as courageful. Courageful, yes, that's a new word. And cautious. I've had a lot of courage, but I'm a little cautious, you know, a little bit. I stop and think about things once in a while. A loyalty. And cunning. Loyalty and cunning. So uh, that was the first attack on me. Yes, so now so I'm going. I'm going. Hmm. I, I am going on the attack. I'm challenging. Using these two cards here, giving me a 16. Four and five is six. Six plus whatever, he still can't win. Six and four. I was really hoping to see that six come out. So that's a ten. Let's take another five points of damage. That leaves uh, 24. So that's 19. That's 19. Oh, I might I might make it to a battle with Stag. Vigor. And determination. Then we each take one. 18. 12. And for Turtle, Determination, and Courage. 5 and 8, that's what, 13. So it's going in for a fight, which I can't win. And if I, but it's still only a five, so I can get rid of a couple of low cards. So I'll accept the challenge with these two. Let's use uh, his highest. So I'm going to take five points of damage. Leaves me with seven. Maybe I won't make it to stag. All right, these are discarded. First playthrough. I hope I'm getting most of this right. Courage and speed. Fortitude and ferocity. Oh. If it was Turtle going, he'd be going on the attack right now. I can't handle an attack. No. Most I can do is 13. That's a 13 plus whatever this is. No, oh, I would have a 14. Mm, I'm still not liking it. I'm going to draw. Six might, not bad. I'll replace my speed with might. Uh, going up here, he's going on the attack. It really didn't help me a hell of a lot. I am so screwed here. Wolf about to get beat up by a turtle. Sword here first, folks. It's over the challenge because he has over 10. So 13, 15, 15, 14. Oh, 15! 
15. Tie goes to me. Oh, because I got plus one for being Wolf. That's 15, yeah. 13, 14, 15. I got to double check. This is the first time that we uh, have had a tie. Uh, yeah, ties go to the winner. Nice. Ties go to the winner. Whew, I needed that. I have uh, three points from five to eight. So that's 13. 13 health. That turtle has dropped to. And these get done and replaced. These get done and replaced. Wolf has speed and perception. While Turtle has cunning and might. 4, 6, 10. Going on the attack. Going on the attack. That's 10. Plus 0 is 10. Five, six, seven, eight, plus one is nine. Damn it. Two health left. Wolf has cunning and ferocity. We each take one health. We reshuffle this. Turtle has fortitude and might. Fortitude and might. Uh, so that was Turtle attacking me last turn. 11 is the best I can get. And plus one is 12. It's exactly what Turtle has. And then Turtle's going to get a bonus, and that zero is already out. I will draw. Ferocity seven. I need to see something like that. Six and six is twelve. Going for the attack. Twelve against my fourteen. Twelve plus six. Damn it. Five and Wolf is down. That's it. That's that's that. Double checking, but that's it. There's no like. Oh, continue second laugh. No nothing. Nothing going on because it says that uh, when uh, end the game, when the player with the most remaining power wins, if both players are tied, the player with dominance wins. End of turn. Yeah. Man, play very quickly. Got me down to zero power. Made it through a badger. Tore up the turtle, but didn't quite take the turtle down. Yeah, I am feeling I made a couple of mistakes here that I didn't catch. So I'm going to go over this again uh, and see what I did wrong. But, you know, I had a lot of fun with this. And I can see I, I can see the tactics that I was failing on, uh, seeing and doing to begin with, especially with uh, using more of from the offerings instead of here to invoke the power. You know, and I was avoiding the gain power four because of this one, because of that one point. You know, and even though they're not the highest cards, they did have two sevens out. I, I could have taken this back in and gained the four power. So I, I need to I need to play this more and understand the tactics. I want to understand the tactics and uh, understand what I what mistakes I made during this playthrough, first playthrough. But it was fun. It was worth it. So please check out some more of Totemic. It's a really fun game. Colossal Games has put out another, I think, successful one. Fun enough to play. So yeah, check it out. And uh, it has the little mini expansion, Feather and Fang. <laughs> so I'm your buddy Big Giant and G for Two Gun Pixel Presents. Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am out of here. Ha, 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 ha.